Hello everyone, we are so glad to welcome you all for this art integration project presentation. Before we start, let me introduce myself and brief you all about this project and its source. I am Trisha Sanyu from Class 6C. Art integration is a project under the theme of Ek Bharat Shrishth Bharat organized by CBSE. It focuses on pairing two stages and knowing more about each other. We were privileged to be paired with Orissa as it has beautiful culture which was recently explored by all of us. We hope that all of you will enjoy this presentation as much as we have enjoyed while preparing it. So now I will handle it to Jandeep and let's get started. Good morning friends and teachers. My name is Jaldeep Jadeja and this is class 6C and our topic is on Odisha. So before starting, let's know a little about Odisha. Odisha is a state of India which is located in the eastern part of India. It has a total of 30 cities and its capital is Bhuvaneswar. The CM of Odisha is Navin Patnaik and Odisha has a population of 4.68 crores. Okay, so now we have known a little about Odisha. So now let's start. Okay, so now the first group is on tourism of Odisha. In this group, they will tell you about the uh, tourism of Odisha like famous monuments, beaches and temples. So now I would like to hand it to Aradhya. Thank you. Good morning and thanks Sildeep for doing our introduction of our group and our topic. Today, I am going to tell you some facts about Odisha and explain about some cities of Odisha. Bahubanwar, Odisha is also known as the temple city of India. Bahubanwar is among the best tourist places have Malbran's temples and showcase of temples and amazing artworks by the centuries. Konark. Konark is famous for their artworks and sculptures and the best Odisha destination. The carvings of Konark's and temple are of the Seven Wonders of India Tract large folk of tourists throughout the year Kihonjal Kihonjal is located on the bank of the Karo River Barbet Barbet is the lesser known place in Odisha Kihonjal is surrounded by luxurious forest and has beautiful waterfalls Thank you Now Aryan you can tell us about some interesting facts and explain about some famous monuments of Odisha. We speak on the topic of monuments of Odisha. You can see the map of Odisha first here. Sun Temple Konark. Sun Temple Konark is one of the famous monuments in Odisha built in the shape of giant chariot. The temple is dedicated to Sun God. The Sun Temple Konark was built by King Narsim Dev. You can see the wheels of the chariot here. Sri Jagannath Puri Temple. The Jagannath Temple is an important Hindu temple dedicated to Jagannath, a form of Sri Krishna. The Puri Temple is famous for its annual Rath Yatra. You can see the pictures here. Sri Jagannath Puri Temple. Brahmeshwar Temple. Brahmeshwar Temple is an Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Shiva located in Bhuneshwar, Odisha, India. Erected at the end of the 11th century, Brahmeshwar Temple was built by Kolavati Devi. Thank you. Arinjay, you can take My name is Arinjay and I am from class 6C and I will tell some information on the beaches of Maharashtra and Odisha. Ganpati Pula Beach, Maharashtra Location of beach Ganpati Pula is a small town located 25 km north of the city of Ratnagiri. In Ratnagiri district on the Kokan coast of Maharashtra in the subcontinent of India, the town Chiplun is located to its north. Famous for and type of sand. It is famous for its temple dedicated to Lord Ganesha. Type of sand. Clean and white sand beach. Time to visit. While you can visit this town all year round, 
The best time to visit Ganpati Pule is between October and March when the weather is not too hot and humid. The beach town experiences wholesome downpour and low temperatures during monsoons. See for not Ganpati Pule beach is not safe because the sea is deep in between plus there are rocks inside which makes this beach dangerous. Puri Beach, Odisha Puri Beach is a beach in the city of Puri in the state of Odisha, India. It is on the shore of the Bay of Bengal. It is known for being a tourist attraction and a Hindu sacred place. Color of Puri Beach sand is golden color. Location of the beach Puri or the Golden Beach is a beach in the city of Puri and in the state of Odisha. India, it is is on the shore of the Bay of Bengal. Time to visit. The ideal months to take a trip to Puri are between October and February when neither the scorching heat nor the high humidity is present to cause any hindrance to your outdoor plants. Safe or not, Puri is a safe place compared to the other beaches and full of families around Chandrabhaga Beach Falls in the way to the famous sun temple at Konark. No sea is 100% safe. If you want to take a bath, avoid going too deep into the sea. Thank you. Thank you everyone. But just before uh, our turn is over, uh, we will show you a little glimpse of Odisha's famous monuments, temples and beaches. Thank you. Good morning everyone, I am Aditi Reje from Class 6C. Previously we have seen tourist places of Odisha and now we are going to have an overview of the Odia food. Odia love food. Compared to other original Indian cuisine, Odia cuisine uses relatively less oil and is less spicy but of great taste. The ingredients used in Odia cuisine typical to the region are plantains, jackfruit and papaya. In the region closer to Andhra Pradesh, curry tree leaves and tamarind are used more. Many sweets of the region are based on chenna, which is cheese. Coconut is also used in several dishes. The curries are also garnished with ambula, which is a dried raw mango and tamarind. Garlic and onion are also used, but is ordered in temple regions. Turmeric and red chilies are also commonly used. In old times, food was traditionally served on disposal plates made of sal leaves. The prasad of the Jagannath temple is well known and is specifically called Mahaprasad, meaning greatest of all prasadas. It consists of 53 recipes, which is called Chappan Bhog. You will get to know more about the Mahaprasad and the traditional food of Odisha later in the video. Thank you. Today I am going to be showing a PPT on Odisha's food culture. Staple food of Odisha and history of Odia food culture. Rice and wheat is the staple food of this region. Odia cooks particularly from the Puri region, were much sought after due to their ability to cook food in accordance with Hindu scripts. During the 19th century, many Odia cooks were employed in Bengal and took many Odia dishes with them. Food Cuisine of Odisha The cuisine of Odisha has a distinctive cooking style and same is followed in the preparation of the dishes. A typical main course consists of rice and chapati along with dal, bhaji, bharta, ambila, sakara and dessert. in Jagannath temple and how it is made. Mahaprasad is treated here as Anna Brahma. The temple kitchen has got the capacity to cook for a lack of devotees on a day. Mahaprasad is cooked only in earthen pots and using firewood as fuel. The steam cooked food is offered to Lord Jagannath first and then to Bhimala Devi after which it becomes the Mahaprasad. How is Mahaprasad made? Mahaprasad consists of rice, dal and other selected vegetables. It uses 50 quintals of rice, 20 quintals of lentils, besides 
humongous quantities of vegetables like red pumpkins, yam, brinjals, and more. Traditional food of Odisha. Pakala Bata is the traditional food of Odisha. It's a lunch staple for almost every household in the state. Pakala Bata offers delectable respite from the summer heat, made from soaking cooked rice in a sour curd and water. This dish from Odisha is served with fried fish, potatoes, badi churma, and papad on the side. Famous sweet of Sweet of Odisha. The most famous sweet of Odisha is Chena Jali. It is the Odia version of the famous North Indian sweet. The only difference between both the variants is that Odisha jelly is made from using cottage cheese and therefore has a soft texture compared to the traditional jelly. Thank you. Thanks, Akshat, for explaining us the traditional food of Odisha. Now let's have an overview of the Mahaprasad. Okay, can you see me? I'm behind Tom. We were just going to the campsite because it was our holiday. Okay, yes, it's true. Me and Pax are going to the campsite. Hey Tom, do you want to talk about the Mahaprasad while we go there? Yes, sure. I don't know anything about it, so it's going to be fun for me. Let's talk about what is Mahaprasad. Mahaprasad is the term applied to the 56 food items offered to Lord Jagannath in the Holy Temple of Puri, located in Odisha, India. The Bhog Nevedya offered him and later to Mar Vimala in the Grand Temple known as Sri Mandir and remains of the Nevedana after accepting by the God is known as Mahaprasad. Mahaprasad is also widely named as the famous Chappan Bhog. So, that's what Mahaprasad is. Yes, thank you so much for telling me, Max. Now I can tell this in my class. No problem at all. By the way, look over there. It's the campsite. Yes, let's go have fun. Thanks Tanishk for telling us about the Mahaprasad. Now let's compare between the Maharashtrian food and the Odia food. My name is Freha Parkhi. Today I am going to tell you about Odisha's famous food. Odisha's famous food is plev, well dry plev. In India it is called plav. Plev or plav is a rice dish or in some regions a wet dish. Those recipes usually involve cooking or in stock or part, adding pieces and other ingredients such as vegetable or meat and applying some technique. Now this is the recipe of plef. The ingredients that are needed to make plef is pulp rice, basmati rice, mushroom, onion, garlic, green chilies, carrot, calorie, karam masala, chicken broth, oval oil, fresh caliento, seed almonds. Now this is the look of plif which we make in home. This is the recipe of vegetable pula. The ingredients which are needed. Basmati rice, onion, tomato, green pills, fresh beans, carrot, bay leaves, canmon, coals, garam masala, turmeric cream, red chili powder, coriander leaves, oil, tea, water, salad to taste. Now this is the look of Indian pulao which we usually make in home. There are very such recipes which we make pulao or plif. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Prithviraj Parkhi and today I am going to explain the famous dish of Maharashtrian named Puran Puri. So let's start the procedure. Take one cup chana dal in a deep bowl. 
then put the chana dal in a cooker and add enough water after 5 6 whistles turn off the flame and let it cool for some time then transfer the cooked dal in a kadai then add some jaggery to it then add some nutmeg powder then add some cardamom powder it gives a great flavor Mix it well and cook on medium flame until the jaggery melts. Mash the mixture very well. Transfer the mixture into a plate and let it cool. This is called puran. Now let's see steps to make the of puran poli. Take some wheat flour. Add some ghee to it for softness. Knead into a small dough with in a water. Make small balls of the dove. Roll out the dove ball a bit and add some puran over it. Fold over the ends and gently press. Roll it out into a poli. Put a puran poli on a tawa. Then apply some ghee while roasting. Turn over until the puran poli is golden brown and cooked. Serve the Maharashtrian style Puran Puri with ghee and katachi amti. Thank you everyone. I hope you all would have enjoyed and learnt about the traditional delicacies, food culture of Odisha and 56 bhog as part of Mahaprasad. And I am sure you all would be tempted for delicious pulao and Puran Puri as well. Now you know much about tourism and food of Odisha. Now let's move on to festivals of Odisha. Odisha is a state with 1048 cities and population about 4.71 plus crores. There are more than 14 festivals and some of these festivals are presented here. Konak Dance Festival Konak Dance Festival is a 5-day dance festival held every year in month of December, mostly from 1 to 5 in backdrop of Sun Temple in Konak, Odisha in India. Chau Festival It is a significant festival for people of Odisha which continues for 3 successive days. Puri Beach Festival The basic idea of Puri Beach Festival is to present the art, crafts, culture, cuisine and tourism potential of a state on a single platform and to attract world focus on it. Kalinga Mahatsav Kalinga Mahatsav a national festival of material dances celebrated to mark major victory of peace over war when Kalinga once witnessed a battle during reign of Ashoka. Chandan Yatra Chandan Yatra also known as Kandhlepana Yatra is the longest festival observed at Jagannath Temple at Puri, India. Rath Yatra or Jatra is celebration of Lord Jagannath who is believed to be Lord of Universe's journey towards his aunt's house. Makar Mela It is celebrated in January every year and marks termination of winter season and beginning of new harvest season. It is dedicated to Lord's son. Now Trisha will explain about the Chau festival. Hi Priya, it is your school trip today. So where are you going on it? Hey Lily, I am going to Orissa for the Chau festival. Chau festival, what's that? It is a very interesting festival. Are you not aware of it? Uh, no, I am not. Don't worry Lily, I will explain you. Thanks Priya. You're welcome. Let's do it with the presentation. Chow Festival What is Chow Festival? It is the oldest festival of Orissa. Even the outer people comes to Orissa to enjoy this festival. All people of Orissa love this festival. How is Chow Festival celebrated? There are people who play instrument for the Chow Festival. People wear the Chow mask and Chow costumes for the dance. They do a very enjoyable dance. Their mask and costumes. There are creative Chow masks for the dance. The Chow masks of people are much heavy. 
it is much difficult to wear and dance with that mask. They wear very colorful costumes for the dance. Mainly the costumes of Chow dance are having very bright colors. Here is a Chow mask. And here are the people wearing Chow costumes. Now let's watch a short video so we can get it that how Chow festival is celebrated. festival is celebrated. Thank you so much Priya for explaining me what is Chow festival. You're welcome Tilly. Oh, it's getting late. I need to leave now or I will miss the bus. Wish you a great journey. Bye. Thanks Lily. Bye. Thank you. Prepared by Trisha Seni, Class 60. Thank you, Trisha, for the wonderful explanation. Now, Ayan will explain about the Rath Yatra. Rath Yatra. It is held at Sri Khetra Puri Dham in the state of Odisha. Rath Yatra is celebrated in Odisha, Jharkhand, West Bengal and East states of India. Rath Yatra is the celebration of Lord Jagannath who is believed to be the Lord of Universes journey towards his aunt's house. The festival commemorates Jagannath's annual visit to Guddicha Ma Temple near Sarda Bali Puri. Rath Yatra is a festival to worship Lord Jagannath Rath, also known as the festival of chariots. Rath Yatra is the only festival in which deities are removed from temples for the devotees. Thousands of devotees come from all over the country to participate in this Rath Yatra and get good fortune by pulling the Lord's chair. Thank you Han for explaining us about Rath Yatra. Now Sai will show us how to make Rath with Legos. showing us how to make Rath with Legos. Now a will do comparison between Odisha's festivals and Maharashtra's festivals. Maharashtra. Maharashtra has many festivals like Ganesh Chaturthi, Guri Parva and many more. The first festival is Ganesh Chaturthi. The festival for 11 days. Locals buy idols of Ganesh and worship the idol for 10 days at home. Many pandals will be erected throughout the city for various rituals. You can enjoy dance and music celebrations too. Grand Harvest Festival of Maharashtra Gudi Parva marks the beginning of an auspicious new year with celebrating a successful crop being a springtime festival. Gudi Parva is celebrated on the first day of Chaitra month, the first day of Hindu New Year. The second state is Odisha. Odisha has many festivals like Durga Puja, Rath Yatra, etc. The first festival of Odisha is Rath Yatra. The Rath Yatra, apart from Durga Puja, another significant festival that is a must for Odisha is Rath Yatra or Chariot Festival. The festival is so popular that people from across the country and sometimes even the world come around to celebrate this in Odisha. 
And the last festival for Odisha is Durga Puja, magnificently celebrated all over Odisha. Durga Puja is considered to be an important festival of the state when the streets are lighted up and the merry queue are decorated to set the spirit of festivity among the people which last for 3-4 days every year. Thank you Abab. Now, group 4 and the last group of Classic C will show many art forms of Odisha. Art forms of Odisha Introduction Odisha is a really rich and cultural heritage. It is one of India's most beautiful states, but the art forms of Odisha are the most beautiful part of the state. All the states of India have their own types of art forms. Art forms are really important. They are a really important part for the state's appearance. There are many art forms of Odisha. Some of them include dance, music, stonework, woodcraft, and terracotta. First is dance. There are several folk dances of Odisha. Here are some of them. Chow dance, Dandanata, Medhanacha, Changu dance, Karma dance and then there is Odishi dance. Then music. Folk music of Odisha are very famous in India. Odissi music is one of the most famous music in India. It is originated in Odisha. Stonework. The stonework of Odisha is very attractive. They mostly include animals and Indian gods and goddesses. They are mostly built in temples. Woodcraft. Woodcrafts of Odisha are also very attractive and have designs on them. Then there is terracotta. Terracotta of Odisha are also very beautiful. These terracotta crafts can be pots, animal statues and etc. So now let's learn a little more about this topic. So now let's meet our other members. Hi all, I am Ananya Chajed and today I am going to tell you about which handicraft in Odisha is mostly loved by the people. I have made a survey of 30 people and according to it the pie chart has been made. Starting with the first one, brass and dubra work. It is loved by 33% of people which means 10 people. It is an art in which we use bronze, copper and brass. It needs fine finishing. It takes about 1 to 2 months to be completed. Second, silver filigree. It is loved by 3% of people which means 1 person. It is an art in which we twist beads and threads. We also carve on metal and it is used as jewelry. Third, bottle art. 13% of people like this art which means 4 people. It is an art in which we paint bottles and make beautiful designs on it. It is also used as showcase. 4. Sand art 26% of people like this, which means 8 people. It is an art in which we use sand to make beautiful sculptures. It is usually made on beaches. It started at Puri, Od Odisha and now is used all over the world. 5th. Patta Chitra 23% of people like this art, means 7 people. This is an art which is usually made on cloth. We make mythological stories and folk tales on it. It needs a lot of time and patience. Now you know this topic very well. Now you need to know more about art forms of Odisha. Let's meet our another team member. everyone 
today i am going to tell about the musical instruments of odisha odissi music odissi music is confined grammars which are presented with specified ragas it has also a distinctive radiation style next sitar sitar is plucked string musical instrument with movable frets and a ground resonator sitar is popular in north india pakistan and bangladesh in odisha it is also known as veena tabla tabla is an indian drum used in for north indian music it is also used for classical popular and devotional music of odisha tabla is also frequently played in popular and folk music performances in odisha and thank you now let's see some dances Good afternoon everyone. 
on behalf of my classmates and myself i would like to express my gratitude towards all the teachers students and parents for watching and enjoying this wonderful art integration so thank